Welcome to five things I loved about playing Fields of Mystria. One, the aesthetic. I'm a Stardew Valley player who has tons of mods to make it the magical girl experience I want in the game. This game just has all of it built in. No mods needed. The cows are even pink. pink the trees are pink. The villagers are magical. It's just the perfect vibe. It's like everything I've ever hoped and dreamed of in Stardew Valley, and it's just like here, and it's just it's just existing, and I love it. I'm obsessed already. Two, the mini games, or lack thereof. Oh my gosh! Okay, let's see what the fishing mini game is. <gasps> Chad, this is a big deal. We're about to check out the fishing mini game, and I don't know about y'all, but fishing mini games are typically the bane of my entire existence. They're usually just too hard and daunting. Um, and I hate them. So let's see if this is a decent fishing mini game or not. I think that I need to be, like, maybe closer to the shadow. Yep. That's it? There's no... There's no... That's it. There's no minigame. It just... It just goes. In this game, you just catch the fish and, well, that's it. It does work similar to Animal Crossing, where you do have to place the bobber near a shadow of a fish in a way that it sees it or is near it, so it'll be attracted to the lure. You will also unlock a shrine where you can upgrade certain abilities, such as fishing, and one of those upgrades is to increase the range that the fish is attracted to the bobber. Catching bugs also seems to be pretty easy, and it just has to be in the general area of the bug. I never once missed. Oh, did I mention you can also swim? Yes, you can swim and dive in these spots and catch other fish, and you can conveniently swim to the other side if you don't want to find a bridge. This can be incredibly helpful if you need to find shortcuts, you know, in case you need to go to bed, because yes, you still pass out at 2 a.m. 3. Magic. You can use magic abilities with mana, such as instantly grow your crops. I tested this on crops that had 10 days to grow, and it worked. You can also use this spell to fully restore your energy. There are also mana potions to restore your mana. Keep in mind there is also a bathhouse to restore energy, but it does cost money. However, it is incredibly quick. I was able to walk to the bathhouse, restore all my energy, and be out within 10 endgame minutes. Four, the villagers. Everyone in the village are beautiful, magical vibe characters. I love their aesthetic, their personalities, and of course, their sense of humors. There's a wide variety of characters which will make it really fun when it comes time to romancing. It uh, appears we're not quite ready for you, but not to worry, I'm sure she'll only need a moment. Let's go help, I don't mind helping. That was funny. No need. <laughs> And five, your magical girl personality. Every time you catch something, your character does a cute magical girl peace sign pose, and it makes me happy every single time. <gasps> I got a bug! Oh my god, did you see that? She caught the bug and she goes... The cosmetics are also incredible, from witches' hats to giant bows, and you can customize to whatever color. And this just adds to your custom magical experience. My only advice is if you decide to play the demo, do not... Pet Dozy. Oh, look at, look at the dog! Woof. His collar says Dozy. <gasps> no! I just got an error message. Encountered an error needs to shut down. No! I broke the game for trying to pet the dog! My game just crashed because I tried to pet the dog. You can, in fact, not pet the dog. Yet. If you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more cozy gaming content. You can also follow me on Twitch, where I play all my cozy games live. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!